The phone rings. Potential customer. It's Debbie. She needs a 150 kilowatt PV system, and she needs it tomorrow. Well, the bid for it. <laughs> Charles drops everything. It's a mad rush to get this bid together. He calls all of his subcontractors to get quotes, and none of them are able to deliver it in time. He, his company needs this revenue to break even. So he starts working hard on the proposal, pulling off of his past experiences, using his intuition, not data, to govern his numbers. If his bid is too high, he's going to lose it. If his bid is too low, he's going to lose money. I'm getting stressed talking about this. I've been in this situation so many times. Charles is in a tough place. It takes time to do a good estimate. And if you rush them, you're going to have errors. He doesn't really have a feedback loop that gives him real-time feelings on how his numbers are going, because he's intuition. And he's having to rely on his manually updated spreadsheets. And he has to hope that he actually has them up to date. This is a high-risk scenario. But we have the solution, PV bid. We help companies understand their past to cut costs. We can actually log into PV Bid and use one of the templates that fits Debbie's system best. Charles can input the information that he already has and get a cost out based off of his past projects and his current trends. He can then adjust those outputs to fit the system. For instance, he knows it's going to be pretty difficult to get the lifting equipment up to the building, so he can add extra time. PVBid then generates a contract based off of the inputs that Charles put in. And he can make changes in, on the fly if he needs to. If he is not carrying the rebate, he can put in that his company will not be carrying the rebate. When he's done, he can actually go and double check everything. He can log in, or go compare this project to key variables and key metrics that he has and make sure he's in the right area. This product brings peace of mind, confidence, and less risk. Whether you want to do a five-minute ballpark estimate or if you want to invest the resources to put in the time, you can nail down every detail. PVBig can do that. Charles isn't alone in this scenario either. There are over 6,000 solar companies in the US today. Our target group are the 3,000 medium-sized companies that are between 10 and 300 employees. That leaves us with 15,000 sales, estima sales people and estimators who are suffering this problem every day. They make up, they consume 1.2 billion of the annual revenue, and they make up a 1.1 total monthly addressable market. This group is not sitting still either. They're growing at the same rate as the solar industry, 20% year over year. We've put together three price points based off of the three types of users that we've found that are going to be out there. We got this by going to solar companies and asking them what they need. Things like Salesforce integration and QuickBooks integration. We'll be rolling out with a free version that's very basic and then build on that with a premier version that allows for collaboration and has integrations like Salesforce. We'll finish with an enterprise version that has all the bells and whistles. And we also help. We provide consulting uh, to help integrate the company's systems with PV Bid. We have uh, algorithms built in that connect qualified bids to, to financing partners. And we have embedded uh, as an option sponsored pricing models that allow customers to try out new racking or hardware solutions. So Charles is no longer digging through his spreadsheets and his old build data. In fact, our biggest competitor are the homemade spreadsheets that most of these companies use. As an estimator, the most frustrating thing when I tried to move my company off of the spreadsheets was that none of the software out there was up to the task. It, they were typically inflexible or cumbersome. They were too simple and only gave average numbers. Or they were too complex and required way too much of my time every time. Or I could go outside of the industry and have to work with ground-up architecture where I had to account for every nut and bolt. 
We have a soft rollout in July where we have three companies across the country beta testing. They're going to be working closely with us to figure out how to fit PV bid to the real world problems that they run into. In November, we have our official launch. We'll be releasing our premier version at that time too. Currently, we already have three solar estimators who have given us great feedback, and we've managed to adapt PV bid to handle the out-of-the-box solutions that they found and gut check their, their problems with uh, data mining. And before we even had a product, every company in our group that we approached has wanted to onboard us. In fact, right now, a major company, if we can get Salesforce integrated and harden, PV, uh, harden the product, is onboarding us at the end of July. We need $50,000 to make that uh, delivery schedule on top of our existing seed money. And we want to need an additional 100,000 to take us all the way to our break even point. I'm Connor English, the CEO of PV Bid. I've spent a decade as an engineer, uh, estimator, and spreadsheet jockey in the industry. In fact, I come from that side of the street that is totally entrenched in spreadsheets. Um, I will be actually working with one of the companies as one of their employees to beta test my own product. Our CTO, Mike Miller, brings a decade of diverse uh, experience with different system architectures and big data management. Our CIO, Mitch Story, rounds out the team, owning his own server farm, has a decade as a successful entrepreneur and an exit, and has spent 15 years as a web developer. We are PV Bid, and we save customers time, risk, and money. Thank you for your time. Questions? About uh, the growth that you showed, 20%. Well, where is that data coming from? What the analysts in the market say is that with the ITC going away, the medium-sized businesses are going to be crushed. So how, how, where, where is that data? How does it sit there? That's a great question. I was drawing off of the SIA report, and I have seen the same, the ITC failing. It will cause the companies to be crushed. Um, we are drawing not just on, I mean, the medium-sized companies that we're referring to, uh, some of them will be d diminished, but others will be growing out of that because of the decreased um, grouping. I, I can't answer that question terribly well, apparently. <laughs> Connor, I thought you did it just a fine job with that. Um, what, um, is the focus exclusively on the sort of small and medium sized installers, or do you intend to sell to the larger companies? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we intend to sell to the larger companies. In fact, the one we were talking to on Tuesday, the one that wants to onboard us in July, is 4,000 employees or something to that effect. Much bigger. 5,000 employees. Somebody just corrected me. Yeah. Um, what is the, uh, have you done a market sizing analysis of um, like how much are you charging and how many people will buy it? So what would the projected market size be to you? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, so the addressable market is the 1.1 million monthly. Um, the survey that I've done has been unhelpful in that most of the companies are like, yes, if you have a product, we'll do it, but we haven't had a product to really demonstrate it. So um, I don't have a, a great feel on adoption, but um, uh, based off of my feedback, I would say we're, well, we'll probably be at around 10% adoption is my, the numbers I've been going off of when I, when I do my estimates. I'm hoping that your estimates, your modeling for your business is pretty good because you're the model. You're the jockey. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So uh, Connor, I, I think it's great. I, I just like, the, I think that you guys are very credible because you give the impression that you're there in, in the trenches and you understand it. I'm just going to recommend PV Complete. You guys could maybe get a beer later and talk. We've, we've talked to Okay. Yeah. Uh, just, we, I'm just saying. <laughs> we actually, uh, um, one of our, we're, we're trying to create a, a, a grouping. So we're actually re built on a RESTful API and such, and we're planning on partnering with companies like Helioscope or Energy Toolbase so that you get the full partnership. I mean, 
What I liked most was that people can rely on historical data. It has sort of a semblance of machine learning kind of feel to it. Right. But what's nice in the PV complete pitch is the idea that it's also a complete solution. So it goes end to end. You're, you're going deep with Salesforce and QuickBooks integration. That's terrific on the front end. But you, you want to carry it all the way through to what actually happens when you get the as built. Right? I, I appreciate the input. That's a good point. Uh, that's a really good question, too. It really depends on how the integrator uh, keys in their key metrics, because um, uh, we will have some base ones that I've found are the most useful for me. Um, and so as things change, it should adapt quite readily. That's the design. So you're going to carry a change just in case? Yep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> are there things uh, about your product that distinguishes it from the on-grid solar and the solar nexus products in particular? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, on-grid solar is they have a, a, a basic um, algorithm for generating cost. We actually go much deeper than that, and we're designed to handle the much bigger systems. Um, and on-grid is also focused not on the estimating, which is what we're good at. They're focused on the presentation and the analysis. Andy Black does a great job with that, and I, I don't think I can touch that with a 10-foot pole, frankly. All right, thanks guys. Thank you.